All right, fellas, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to care for your Carolina Moto boots. Um, I got about um, over 500 hours on these boots so far since I got them. And I think maybe it's a little bit premature, but I think it's time for me to clean them up and re-oil them up a little bit. So that way we're gonna keep them nice and fresh and keep the leather moisturized and they're gonna stay nice and soft and that's gonna keep the boots from uh, uh, leather of the boots from cracking and whatnot. So these boots are not exactly cheap, you know, so you put a little, invest a little bit money in there and then you gotta take care of them. So they're gonna last you a long time and also gonna keep nice and comfortable for you. So it's a big advertisement for a Carolina boots over here, but I just wanna say that I am not sponsor in any way connected with these Carolina boots whatsoever. I just want to know that they, they don't pay me, they don't ask me to make this video. I just want to put this out here to help out my fellow viewers and whatnot because I know most of you guys are working people just like me and I just want to share my experience with these boots. If I can help in any way, that would be a plus for everybody. Anyways, let's get started. So 500 hours on these boots. You can see, I don't know if you watched my uh, previous video. I told you that I work in a machine shop, I'm a machinist, but um, I work in a cleaner section of the shop. As you can see, the boots are not in terrible, terrible shape, but you can see, you know, they, are, they get some dirty grime on them, some oil and stains and whatnot, a little bit, you know, grime dust and whatnot, so they're not too bad, but 500 hours is a, is a significant amount of time spent in the boots. Uh, one thing I gotta tell you guys, and I'm gonna uh, recommend you. I took those uh, Carolina insoles. Uh, I'm gonna say about the first week that I was wearing these boots, I took them out. Not that there is anything wrong with them and whatnot. They are, seems to be very nice, good quality insoles and whatnot. But I have um, purchased those and I hardly recommend them for you guys. And I'm gonna give you a couple of reasons why I've done that. I've purchased this Timberland Pro insoles for my, uh, for my uh, boot. For uh, one reason being is they are more comfortable, they're a little bit thicker and they're a little bit taller. By installing these insoles into my boots, it make the boot fit better on my foot. So was worth it great deal for me to change to this Timberland. Like I said, I'm not knocking down those original insoles. They are very nice, you know, for you it might work great, but for me the boots were a little bit more roomier than I like. So when I installed those, I filled up, filled up the, the boot with my foot a little bit nicer, so it was much more comfortable to wear those boots. And there, when they are saying they are very comfortable, guys, Take my word for it, they are very, very comfortable. I'm gonna put the link in the description down below if you guys wanna check it out and buy some for your boots. Anyways, I'm gonna put those back in and whatnot, and uh, we're gonna get going with a cleaning procedure on this. Uh, I'm not professional at these guys, but uh, I've did some research on my own and whatnot, and I have an idea how to clean this leather. I'm gonna show you the product that I'm gonna use. Uh, as far as the boot goes, guys, I am literally in heaven wearing these boots. They are very, very comfortable. They are uh, molded to my foot. I don't have a problem. I'm working 10, 11 hours per day, per day guys, and I have zero issue with a pain on my foot or biting or grinding or anything. They are just fantastic boots. I hardly, hardly recommend them steel toe very comfortable boot only um, complaint i have a little bit about it is uh these laces they tend to get undone it's kind of drive me nuts they keep on getting undone and it's very hard for me to adjust the, adjust the how tight they are if i tie them up a little bit too much they're tight and then if i loosen them up they're too loose and uh over the course of the day, they get undone. They drive me nuts. But today, I'm gonna try to do is um, I'm gonna install after I'm done cleaning those uh, leather laces. See how they're gonna work out for me. If they don't work out good, I'm just gonna go back to the original. Don't get me wrong; they're not terribly bad, but you know it could be much better. Anyways, so let's get this started. 
you don't want to lose that. I love that little flag on the side. So as you can see, like I said, they're not terribly dirty, but they are a little bit dirty, you know. But like I said, keep them nice and clean. The leather still smells fantastic. Very high quality boots, guys. So first thing what we're gonna do is uh, get a brush like this. This particular is from Kiwi. Knock down the loose stuff out of the boot and whatnot. Try to do a good job around the edges over here because we're gonna make them a little bit wet later on with the saddle soap. So okay, I was not gonna bore you with the whole process. Take about three, four minutes just to brush them off nicely. You have idea how to brush them. Make sure all the the dry stuff uh, it's uh, out of the corners and whatnot. You know what I mean? So they, they look better already, but uh, the next step is gonna be guys, yeah, just this a little bit. So I got this uh, saddle soap from Amazon, I'm gonna put the link down in the description below if you need it for your boots. Doesn't really have a scent and whatnot, it's a yellow on the inside, and also I got this uh, little brush, we're gonna use that, oops. <laughs> to clean the leather but first before we start that you're gonna either use toothbrush and a spoon don't be taking your favorite silverware from your wife I don't want to be responsible for your wife kicking your butt get something older okay so this we're gonna use to go around the edges and maybe clean up these uh, white insoles and whatnot so Got a water over here, I'm gonna make this wet. I'm gonna get the soap. I'm gonna put some soap on it. Mm, still no scent. Okay, and uh, we're gonna go around these white edges, see if we can clean that up. Hopefully we're gonna make that white again to shine good. This leather is up very nicely, guys. So, you're gonna soak it like so. So okay guys, uh, if the saddle soap doesn't help out to clean out the soles, looks like for my boots over here, it does take out most of the stuff. But like I said, I work in a machine shop, there is a lot of oil there. Maybe you can try with a dishwashing soap a little bit, see if that's gonna help out a little bit better. So I'm gonna just try it here. Like I said, I haven't done this before. I did a little bit of research and whatnot. Move this out of the way. See this leather is up very nice. They just I don't recommend to put this right on a leather. So try to stay off of that. Just put it on a solid whatnot to make them nice and white again. It just looks good when they're nice and white. It looks like this is doing a much better job already. So there you go, you guys have idea. I, I leather it up like this. And then you can take the uh, the spoon and try to press this out like so. Oh yeah, this comes out very nicely, guys. You get the idea, right? All right, guys. I didn't want to bore you out with a full process, but you have the idea. I just use this uh, brush and the dish soap in, in this case because there was an oil on it and you can see they already look like a hell of a lot better and then you just wipe them off with a microfiber towel you can see they look nice and white again uh, so here we go I'm gonna show you how to clean the leather now with a um, saddle soap that I picked up like I said I'm gonna put a uh, link down in the description below for this but make sure guys if you try to do to clean boots like this make sure you have good quality oil to re-oil them again after you're done cleaning because this leather this soap gonna strip all of the oil from the leather and you do not wanna wear this boot without conditioning or uh, being oiled up 
because if you wear them, that's gonna dry out and this leather gonna crack. Anyways, let's get with the, with the process, guys. So get the little brush, dip it in the water, lightly go over the soap like so, soap that up. And then you're just gonna start to go over the boot. Get the boot. As you can see, it's leathering up right away nicely. Take off all the, the dirt and whatnot, whatever there is on the, on the boot. Like I say, in my case, most of the people that are using these boots, guys, they work in a construction and whatnot. I'm working in a machine shop, so it's gonna be a little bit different the way the boots is gonna clean up, you know. In, if you work in a construction, this is gonna be, most of it is gonna be dirt, dirt and uh, cement and whatnot. But mine, I work in a machine shop and most of it is oil, so I really don't know how they're gonna turn on the end. Hopefully this is gonna take out the, the oil stands and whatnot from the boot. But we're gonna find out in a little bit after I'm done cleaning like this. As you can see, this leather's up very nicely. Go over the sole again. Try to take the most of it out. And uh, after I'm done with this, I'm gonna have to let them dry. So that's gonna be for me probably 12 hours. Not for you, you don't have to wait. For you, it's gonna be an oblique. And the last is gonna be where we're gonna apply the, uh, where we're gonna apply the oil on them and see how they're gonna turn out. So all right, fellas, after you're done rubbing with the soap and whatnot, just get a microfiber towel and just dry them out, like so. Nice and gentle into the leather, because it's gonna be soaking wet. Just dry them out nice. And whatnot, you get the idea. Like I said, guys, uh, Maybe for some of you guys, this is like a extreme, you know, but uh, this is how I am for everything I own, you know, even if you, if you walked into my truck right now, you know, my truck is here, over a year old, you walked in there, you, you, you're gonna think that truck has just been sold. I keep everything nice, clean and pristine. For some of you guys that watching my, uh, was watching my car videos and whatnot in the past, you know how clean I uh, like to keep my stuff. I just, what I own, I like to, to enjoy it to the fullest, you know, I like to have it nice and clean. It just make me feel good when I wear, when I drive something that is very clean. And that one is already drying out some. I hope this is gonna come out good, but you can see how it dries out the leather over here. It ain't gonna take very long to dry out completely and whatnot. I'm not gonna let them sit, sit there, dry out. And after they're nice and dry, we're gonna apply the we're gonna apply the mink oil on them. Make them look very, very nice. Okay, fellas, the boots been sitting here on the top of my truck for a while. They're still a little bit damped, but I ain't gonna worry about too much. They changed a little bit color because we stripped out a lot of lot of the oil that the uh, that the boots originally had on them. They still got some scars on them. I mean. You know, they are worn boots now, as you can see over here, some scarring and whatnot. But they came out pretty good for the most part. I'm happy with it. As you can see over here, they're stripped out. Look how light that color is. I don't think the cam camera is picking that up. You know, the soles are looking nice and clean all the way around and whatnot. And also, I told you I'm having a little trouble with the um, laces. They are getting undone. So what I'm going to do is have a little bit more uh, classic approach to this, like back in the 50s, what Red Wings did. We're gonna put a leather laces on it. I already soaked them up in oil, made them nice and uh, nice and soft. I transformed the flags on it. So we're gonna install those on the end. But first, we gotta do is get you some of this. This is a good stuff. I'm gonna be using that, and also I'm gonna be using this. Mink coil is a mink coil. Both of those are nice. So we're gonna soak them up with the oil, get them prepped up, we're gonna put the laces on and we're gonna let them absorb the oil a little bit and we'll see if we need to put a little bit more, we will. If not, we're just gonna let them ride like that. But you gotta, guys, believe me, every three months or so, you have to put some oil, mink oil on those boots so they won't dry out and start cracking over here when you, where you, when they're bent. 
if this leather get dry right there, keep on bending it, they're gonna crack. It's same, same like your skin on your uh, on your hands. I mean, they get dry and you put a lotion to keep it moist and soft. Same thing, leather is leather. Anyways, let's get started with this. So, so get some of the mink coil, put a decent amount on your finger, and this is a, you know, with your head, just be generous. Put some oil on them. See, they're already changing the color. So we're gonna go ahead, let me put this one down. And we're gonna soak them in, in a mink oil. Everywhere. Try to cover every little area of your boot. So the skin gonna be nice and moist. See, they're already changing the color. Once you oil them, they gotta change the color, so be aware of that. Absorb all over every little inch where is the ladder you gotta put the see on this side so I'm gonna go ahead and soak them up guys I don't wanna be boring you I don't wanna keep this video very long but I'm gonna show you the end results with the laces on and everything but now you uh you know what does it take to keep these uh, boots nice and clean? How to clean them and take care of in your boots? You know, like I said, you know, you paid a lot of money for them, and you just want them to look good, you know, and take care of your stuff and whatnot. I'm gonna be doing this to this boot every three months. I'm gonna clean them, re-oil them, and hopefully they're gonna last me a long time because, from what I'm hearing, and uh, it already I'm experiencing is the more you wear them the more comfortable those boots I get anyways guys I'm gonna cut this video right here for right now I'm gonna do the other boots I'm gonna soak them up then we're gonna brush them up with a brush and then I'm gonna show you the final result guys before I go any further with this I'm sorry about this video is getting too long but I want to point out uh, some of the things this one is already oiled up and I'm gonna show you the boots one is all cleaned and oiled up and the other one is uh just clean and not oiled but when you see like uh these stitches getting undone somewhere loose hands what you're gonna do is get a lighter and try to burn those off like that so they won't get tugged so they won't get tugged and undone completely so if you see somewhere you have a loose Loose stitching somewhere, just get a lighter and burn them up slightly, okay? Guys, they're both clean. This one is oiled, that one is not oiled. See? Nice and dry. There's no oil whatsoever on it. And this one is all oiled up. Oiled up, not oiled up. oiled up not oiled up now i'm gonna go ahead oil this one up as well and then i'm gonna brush them a little bit put the laces on them and i'm gonna try to snip before and after a picture to see before they were clean and after they were clean <laughs> 